Well, I um, probably I should start with uh, the reason I, I started a, a uh, League of the South chapter in South Georgia. It's called the East Georgia chapter, and it meets in uh, Statesboro, Georgia. Uh, I have been a member of the Sons of Confederate Veterans and several other uh, constitutional uh, type organizations like the John Birch Society. And I found that, that really most of these organizations didn't have any kind of method uh, or even the desire to change the, the system uh, for states or change the system to a states' rights attitude or individual liberty attitude. Um, most people wanted to um, change the system to benefit themselves uh, and not society at whole. So I started the chapter. We have about 22 to 24 members. I lose track, to be honest with you. Um, and we're working on several different things. Uh, we meet once a month and um, we discuss different things that we need to be working on and then it's up to the individuals uh, after they leave to, to do the things that they need to do. Uh, one of the major things, and, and this tool has been handed to us by the National uh, recently, is the free magnolia. We, um, we buy 300 free magnolias every time an edition comes out and we have someone in the chapter who is uh, our uh, distribution coordinator and it's his responsibility to see that those are placed in places where people will pick them up and read them. And uh, we put them in wire racks and stores and uh, we're going to start handing them out at gun shows and, and different things like that. Um, and also, we're a covenant. Um, John Weaver came to our chapter and did a program for us back about almost a year ago. And he pointed out the fact that league and covenant are basically the same thing. So the title of his talk was The League or Covenant of the South. So being members of a local chapter, we're actually pledging to each other that we will work together and help each other and do the things that are necessary to... Um, and it doesn't really matter what, what that... You know, if someone gets ill, uh, we can help them help feed them, whatever whatever we need to do. We've covenanted together, not in a secret kind of society or anything like that, but we've, we've, we've pledged to each other that we're going to help each other in any way we can. And we've all pledged that we want to be and or will work toward uh, our independence. Now, whether that's just the state of Georgia or the state of Georgia and South Carolina, uh, whether it's a number of states that finally pull out of this godless nonsense we call the United States. So. And somebody says uh, they're watching right now, mm -hmm. and they say, this sounds good to me, this sounds like something I would be interested in doing. Mm -hmm. How can they get a hold of, of you all? Is there a meeting that they can attend? Or? We, we meet every fourth Monday at RJ's Restaurant in Statesboro, Georgia at 6.30 for supper. And we usually get the meeting kicked off about 7, 7, 10, something like that, depending on when our speaker gets there. We generally try to have a guest speaker. Uh, if we don't, we now we have a project we can work on uh, amongst ourselves and, and even, you know, uh, invite local politicos or politicians and stuff in to observe what we're doing and uh, maybe have some sound ideas. Uh, probably not, but maybe. <laughs> you know? But that, and myself, you can get a hold of me uh, via the internet. Uh, and um, my um, internet email address is edwbookman, that's all one word, at yahoo.com. And uh, if you'll email me, uh, I'll be happy to contact anybody. And, and without regards to, uh, you know, uh, age or sex or, or um, or race doesn't matter to me, um, you know. As I just, long as they're ready to get, as long as they're as long as they're as tired of the system the way it is as I am or we are, and they're willing to work and help, that's fine with me. You know, I, it it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me a bit.